I was recently asked to get a little bit more in detail on exactly how you measure the amount of water coming out your irrigation system. So in this video, I'm going to get a little bit more in detail on exactly how to do that. Keep it simple and just mow. Two of the main things that's going to influence the amount of water you're able to get down at one time is going to be the pressure coming out the wall and the type of irrigation system you're using. So this method here is good for any type of irrigation system. It doesn't matter if you have an in-ground buried system or an above-ground manual system. The method is exactly the same. The first thing you need is a way to collect the water that you want to measure. The simple way to go about this is to take a tuna can. When you measure the inside of the tuna can, it is just above one inches. So this will be a perfect tool to use for your collection system. If you wanna get a little fancy, you can purchase these measuring cups you can get from Amazon. They're roughly about eight bucks for a set of six or seven. I'll link that in the description. You wanna set your tuna can or your watering gauge out on the lawn. The more you have, the more accurate your results will be. You wanna make sure you get even coverage. So this is the main reason why you wanna have multiple cans or multiple measuring devices. You set them out at different parts of the yard. Next, you wanna take your sprinkler, your manual sprinkler and lay it out. And then you wanna time it. You can do the same thing for in-ground. Just place your tuna can or your watering gauge out on the lawn and just time how long it takes to fill up that can. And the shortcut to this, instead of trying to measure the whole time to get one inches, you wanna see how long it takes to get to a half an inch. Once you know that number, you can just double that time and that's the time you need to set your system out in order to get one inches of water. Just keep in mind, if you have one type of irrigation device, you just have to do this measuring test one time. But if you have different types of devices, for example, you may have an oscillating system or you may have an impact sprinkler. You're gonna have to do this test for those systems, for each individual system. So the more types you have, the more tests that you have to do. Usually I like to stick to one or two types, so this way I don't have to keep measuring. Once you have that number, the number is how long it takes to get to half an inch of water, you can use that information to provide supplemental watering or full watering for your needs. 